Milk. 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 <laughs> Would you like some milk? Please give me some milk, milk. please. Okay. Milk. milk. Can I have some milk? milk. Right. I want milk. some milk. Can I have milk. some milk, please? No. I'd like some milk. No. May I please have some milk? Sure. Yay. Okay. Um. This is the the, the eggnog podcast. Episode three. Episode three. Whoa! It's what? like been like the third time in four weeks. What? We're actually pacing ourselves considerably well. What? 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 Who are what? you? Uh, I am definitely the the Gavin of the podcast. Oh, that that means only that means one there's thing. only one more person left. To I be. must be. You must be the Nick. Oh, I thought I was gonna say Benjamin, but no, he's over there. Oh. Well then, yeah, then he's Nick. Benjamin's yeah. on the floor. Hi, Benjamin. We don't know a Benjamin. Hi. Um. Later, Benjamin. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. So what do you want to talk about? So I want to talk about uh, back to the milk thing. Milk. Um. I. I. Uh, when I was little. I first found out about the milkman, Ooh, which for some the people, the, some adults in a higher generation would be like, you know, they're more, con- you know, they were used to it and now it's just kind of disappeared. Blood. Whereas I am like, why did this, I never got to see this. And I understand, you know, it's kind of a more traditional thing to have that, but like, come on. I don't, like, you don't even see like Amazon or somebody delivering milk to my house. No, well, why maybe, is there a Maybe version? the drones will in the future. Ma- I sure milk. hope so. I'm it's, sure. Well, I don't milk. want to have to go to the store to buy milk. I want the milk delivered to me. What's the point of buying things on the internet if you can't buy milk delivered to your house? I don't know. How come grocery stores don't send out trucks to give you your groceries? Actually, some of them do. How come like most in the, don't? In the, well, in the city, it's a more thing. In, in, the, out in the city, country, it's not really. How come I don't understand anymore? Um, I don't think they bring out full trucks. So I think it's just delivery service. No, that's what. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. Uh, oh, that was totally Benjamin. Excuse you, Benjamin. Um. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Benjamin, why did your yeah. voice change? Sorry, Benjamin. Oh, Benji. Um, did you just call him Benji? No. Bad Benji! Ow! Oh, poor Benji. Ow! <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, Benji, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, right, Let's I'm go not. get some milk! No. Hmm? I mean, we get the milk yeah. after this. Time. Anyway. Um, I remembered something I was actually going to talk about. Ooh. Is that, um, Eggnag is, Eggnag is kind of a random name. Is it? Um, would you like to explain, or will we like to leave it a mystery? I don't know. I, you know what? I'm going to explain. Okay. I'm going to explain. You okay. see, here's the thing. I'd say about a month ago, month ago. I was dreaming. Dreaming. I, I was in the sleep mode paralysis. I was, was, dr- was in the subconscious. You was in a, the REM state. That's correct. I was dreaming. He was dreaming. And I was, and I was dreaming because we were doing the podcast tomorrow, the next day. Yeah, so this, the first this episode. was a little under a month ago. I, yeah. And I thought to myself, you know what would be a funny name? You know what would be hilarious? And I couldn't think of one. So. But then I, but then I thought, Gan, Gavin and Nick. Mm. I was like, that doesn't make sense. Nag, Nick and Gavin, that's. You like a nag, thing with it. but the Christmas time. But you know, but was, the holidays. It, it, they were there. You mm, know what people drink is, is during just, a, just before New Year's. You know what is, people drink during the holiday season. Uh, champagne. They do drink champagne, uh, but juice. they also ju- apple mm, juice. Yeah, I would some apple um, juice consumption. The center of a pie. Why would you drink that part and not the rest? Well, I'm not saying you can't eat the rest. I'm just saying I don't think well, you, you can said drink, drink the rest. Well. Anyway, uh, eggnog. 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 They drink go. a lot of eggnog. So, so what egg- do you know? Nag. Eggnog. It's close enough, you yeah, know? Yeah, I mean, and that's why I, because I, I do the visual stuff, um, I do the, A, the big N, the little A, the big G. So right. it's Nick Gavin with the little N. I always feel terrible because this is all I do. I just sit here and talk, and he has to do all of the rest. No, we can do the little the, the thing later. 
we're gonna do later. A little, that's right. A little, that's uh, right. Narrative stuff. Little story. So get ready for that. Let me set up that. He's gotta conduct that. It's um, a conundrum. What it could be now. Just mm. wait till later. Although we just had the story, but um, what am I gonna be Well, I, 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 uh, I did it. I'm the worst. Oh no. So uh, there's something I think we should clear up. What? Over the course of the past two episodes, Ooh, it was, oh, we oh, have I we're going. made fun of a certain person. We have made enjoyment out of a friend of ours. Well, I wouldn't say friend. I'd say, no, I'd say friend. Uh, cause, of, uh, cause of an Asian holocaust or... or Murder or, um, of children's birthdays. Follower of you know several dictators and fascist leaders, um, likes to wear green pants. Part of the Green Plants Club. The Green Plants <laughs> Club. <laughs> no, most pe- plants are part of the Green Plants Club. Dustin, that whoa, whoa, the other way. whoa, whoa, no names. This is anonymous. Okay, I'll, I um, <laughs> I will not abbreviate it. Um, okay, um, uh. The, the thing, you know, when you put dust into a dustpan. Is that when you're, you, some people would say you're dusting. Mm-hmm. You're dusting. Yeah. But if you wanted to shorten it to save time, you'd say you're dusting. Yeah, or you're maybe dusting. maybe it's, you know, the the time period's getting old. There's there's dust in your time. Ooh. Yeah, so you're dusting time. Ah. The, the thing. Um, but anyway, so this, um... This particular individual yes, this is th- not as terrible as I've specifically me made him out to be. Yes. I mean, it's not like everything we said about him isn't true. It's because just most of it it's is. It's just we imply that it's bad stuff. See, I mean, killing the Asian, uh, not the Asians, the Chinese specifically was a bad thing. But put it this way, he's, he's not a bad person for doing it. He's only killed. One race. Yeah, he's really That's less one than race. half of that is all a lot of the races. Less than half of the races. See, if someone killed two races, that'd be more than him. Whoa! No, 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 no two races. That's too much. See, that's why I say two. See, he's also getting rid of overpopulation. That's another thing he's, too. He's help. He's a true hero. I mean, I guess overpopulation isn't really that big of a problem though because no, Richard it's Nixon, a huge problem. Richard Nixon blew up the entirety except of the earth except for the U.S. But he, he also uh, aliens. Aliens. Dustin was the one who said, "Welcome to Earth," mm-hmm. not the other version because that's no. copyrighted. No, this is this is a uh, this is liberation. Um, liberation week. night. <laughs> night. Liberation <laughs> Monday, because <laughs> it it's not Monday now. It's yeah, Monday. It was soon. it was on a July fifth, seven. Then he was like sixteen seventy seven. He was like, "Welcome to uh, our humble abode of a planet." And the who, aliens. Who said this? Dust. Sure, pretty sure it was Smilwith. Smilwith, Smilwith, Smilwith. <laughs> May the force smil be with you. I don't what? know. That's a weird way to interpret that. Um. Huh. Other topics. Hmm. Um. So thank you, Dustin. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank um, you. Basically, Dustin. Um. Uh. There's like. It's like similar to an apology. It's more like just cleansing of your name. So if somehow people hear this and they criticize you for it, well, uh, that means our goal is complete. But, 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 but that does, but that doesn't mean you're not a good person. That doesn't mean that, you no. know? All right. So shout out to you. You listeners at home yeah. um, might be don't hearing hate, him. Don't hate Dustin. Please don't hate Dustin. Just be terrified of him. He will murder you. Probably. He but that, but will he's, he's not, end you. He's not, <laughs> he's not a bad guy. He is not a, not a bad guy. If, if he offered you a smoothie take the smoothie. Yeah, I mean, honestly, he seems like a pretty smooth guy. Like, he is. Like, he is. Like, not, like, I mean, he's smooth, but I mean, like, like, he seems like somebody that would give out smoothies. Not milkshakes, but smoothies. Just, milkshakes are too easy. Well, and, I mean, Dustin just doesn't look like a milkshake guy. He looks no. like a smoothie guy. No, he doesn't. Yeah. But you listeners at home mm-hmm. might be hearing the sweet, sultry voice of Dustin 
quite soon. Whoa, whoa. That's that's not what he sounds it's like. That's what he sounds like. I, I wish was, it was. was. sweet and sultry. Imagine if every word he said sounded like that. If you're wondering what Dustin sounds like, he sounds like a guy who has um, glasses. He does have glass. Put it this way. No, he doesn't have them. He just sounds like he does. Imagine John F. Kennedy's voice. Mm-hmm. That's but, Dustin. Yeah. Except for he's, he's Dustin a has a, he's a different severe person. case of being alive. Yeah. It's um, terrible. Yes. A little known fact, most of us have a, um, a very small case of uh, the life. Dustin, Dustin has a very large case of That's why life. you should... That's Be nice to him. Take I, his smoothies. Yeah, exactly. He is a severe case of and, being alive. And if you see his briefcase, his little, his you know, his really big case of life, then compliment it. Be like, hey, your life's really big. You should enjoy it. And That's I like your briefcase. Briefcase. <laughs> briefcase. You get your beefcase over here. Get your briefcase. Beefcase. Hey, briefcase. Oh, beefcase. Excuse beef me, sir. Can I have a beefcase? Just beefcase. Um. Uh. Shout out to um. Whoever, shout out to the guy who knows what we're talking about when I say this. But um, so me and Nick were recently in a. Where was it? It was, it was Florence, Italy. We were in. No, we were in Venice. Flo- in no, we were in Venice, but we, we wanted, wanted to, to go, go to Florence. Florence. Yeah. I don't know. See, the thing is, we wanted to go to Florence. I don't know why we just went. We didn't go to Florence. We well, we went to as, Venice. As I heard, because I didn't know somehow, but as I heard, we. We went there because we wanted to, but then when we got there, we're like, eh, Florence yeah. is probably better for whatever reason. Shout out I, to you Italians. Um, we love you. We love you. Uh, sorry so, about Richard so, Nixon. So I gotta, sorry. Yeah, he did blow you up. It was the disguise. All right. Um, um, what was but I gonna say? Oh, you, yeah, I got a hot dog. You, no, you got. Had a hot I I got because you see here's the premise. We showed up. I had half of the world's money. You had half of. I the had B half money. of it, the money. Gavin, on the other hand, had, he had, had absolutely none. nothing. And then and then a few. I seconds wanted to later, share, but we, for some reason share. I just couldn't bring myself to share. I don't get why not, but I feel bad. Yeah, Nick's like, "We'll to share," and and then the universe just they told me no. Yeah, it was just like, no, you can't share, and so I was broke. You and were then, broke. And then Nick was eating a hot dog, but then next thing you know, um, we both had hundred and fifty dollars instead of half of and none of the money. That's correct. Yes. So, um, so with my hundred fifty dollars, you bought fifteen hot dogs. Oh no no, no. you know what? it was we both had three hundred dollars. And, and you I spent, spent half, half of, of your so I spent sum of that money because these hot dogs were ten dollars. They were ten dollars. Ten dollar hot dogs. I, I remember soon after there was a man. He was screaming and oh, yelling, there was. and I wanted to stop him and say, "Sir, what's going on?" But he was he was running really fast. Really fast. I didn't know what like to fast. do. So I just stuck my arm out and I clotheslined him, oh, but nice. I caught his head with my other hand, mm. and then I kissed him. No, that's weird. <laughs> and Nick, Nick kissed the poor child on the forehead, signifying that he didn't mean to kill him. Um, and uh, meanwhile, I, I I mean peace. I, Mwah! <laughs> we come in peace. Mwah! And then we kissed the entire alien race on the forehead. Wait, they were aliens? No, I'm I'm. This is this is back to the the liberation day. That's right. I day. remember that. Um, that was a great day. Uh, what was? But uh, so meanwhile, while Nick was holding this feller after nearly the killing feller. him, yes, <laughs> this feller, yes, this feller, because I am from the country. Feller, feller, feller. Um, I was a. Uh, I had fifteen hot dogs, and I had one in my mouth. So where do I put the other four hot dogs? I d- or four, four, fourteen hot dogs. Fourteen hot dogs. Uh, four uh, other four and Only the mouth other dogs. ten. Um, we should probably move along soon. Um, we uh. Fifteen. What was I gonna talk? Anyway, I I need a place to put them, so I asked the hot dog stand if there was a. The basket. entire stand, not the man behind the stand, no. but the stand. Yeah, and so the man behind the stand corrected me because I looked psychotic for asking his stand. Also, this is a Venetian hot dog stand. Apparently, everybody we managed to talk to spoke English. Yeah, very impressive. But anyway, yeah, you Venetians, you got your uh, your English on point. Um. So I asked for the basket, got the basket, now I'm down to 145. Nick still has 
Um, and a, I did. a wounded man. No, he, yeah, he was wounded. Um, but yeah. then there was this very loud scream. Mm-hmm. And then I, I ran down, you were there, and then we just blacked out. Just blacked out? Just blacked At out. At so, some point, there was, there was a giant burger. And there was a last, giant burger. That's the last thing I remember. That's all I remember from what happened. But... Since this time we are, a we're a little short on time. And um, we're gonna move along to the are. ending point we're of the show, we're but it's a bit on. of a long. We're gonna movie. move on to our little thing. I will see story. what I've done. I have not really crafted a story. Maybe right. you folks at home know this. It's a choose your own adventure story. Mm. It's where I give, or the storyteller, in this case, storyteller's me. I'm giving. Basically a scenario, and Gavin can choose whatever he wishes to do, and then I that will have makes... to continue the story off of what he chooses to do, and we go on with a certain goal. And my choices are going to have at least somewhat logical sense, whereas yours technically don't have to, because I exist no. in your world. This is my and your world. your world doesn't exist around me. I can choose whatever I want to happen. Yes, but I have to choose something that makes See, sense. See, we did a similar thing to this yesterday. And yesterday, I just put Gavin in this world. He was all by himself. No, I was there. I controlled myself, and he controlled him. But this time, you're not alone. I'm not alone. You have you. Four other people. You have four other people. There's you. There's me. There's There's Dustin. Can you believe he showed up? There is the Dustin. We have two other people. Some of our friends. Two other. Mr. Willie. Mr. Mr. William. And Mr. Paul. And Mr. Paul. All right. Now, what you guys are trying to do. Paulston. Can I call him Paulston? Uh, he's not gonna like it. But I'm still gonna call him in the story. You can, if, if you, you wish. Can. Okay. Anyway, if you do that. your goal, you have to save. Or you have to stop a runaway cow. I have to stop a runaway cow. Run, you, no, not just you. You and the gang. You've yeah, been tasked gang. from by farmer Jeff Dunham has tasked you with stopping his runaway cow. Jeffrey Dunham has stopped. Stopped you from tasking his <laughs> runaway cow. Tasked you <laughs> with stopping his runaway cow. Now, the scene is you're at the farm, the cow has broken loose, and she, Jeff Dunham has contracted you. Is this the comedian Jeff Dunham? Or it is the comedian guy? Jeff Dunham. I was say, this is just a random person named Jeff Dunham. No, it's but the that's comedian. Not that uncommon of a name. Um, and so you, because right now, you're the leader of the group. I am the leader of the group. The four of us are going to follow you. So the cow's running away. Cow's running away. Uh, Mr. Jeffs. Jeffs. Is just sitting there. Mr. Dunham. Why can't he? Because <clears throat> he has work, because the other cows are all riled up. He has to go calm them down. Uh, Alright, so this is Rodeo Dunham. Rodeo Dunham. Alright, um, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to start by running after the cow. That's a great idea. On foot. <laughs> okay. The, the four of us, we look at you confused. We don't know why you're doing this, but we follow you anyway. All right. You're, you're running down the street. The cow hasn't gone that far. You can see it because it's, it's actually a very big cow. It's not that fast. But you see yeah. perhaps the world's largest steamroller coming in the direction. There's a giant steamroller giant in steam a f- field. Am I still No, no, you're on the road. I'm on the road. The cow's on the road. Is this in you're the country or, or like, or is there just like a farm? You're like? in the country. Okay, all right. Steamroller, it, it's looking, it's coming towards you and the cow. It's a coming. Oh, it's no. a coming. What, but, oh, okay, um, oh no. Uh, do I happen to have a lasso on me from the farm? You don't. Okay. Paul does. Paul does. I, okay. Um, I yell. Because he stole. Yo, Paulston. He doesn't respond. He hates it when people call him Paulston. I repeat, <laughs> Yo, Paulston. A man in the distance yells, What? It's not Paul. It's a okay. man named Paulston. Okay, um, I yell, Yo, stupid. <laughs> Paul immediately <laughs> responds with, What? I laugh at him and say, wow, you're responding to stupid. <laughs> All the rest of us point and laugh at him while running down the street. <laughs> okay, um... Very interesting sight. Okay, does Paul laugh at too? No, he, he's... The tear oh. rolls down his face. Oh, I'm surprised. Okay. Um, but it's like an angry tear. It's all red. 
Oh, wow. So, is he bleeding out of his eyes? No. Oh, okay, just an angry tear. Yeah. That has a mad face on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mo's got little angry tears. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he has, yes. Um. Okay, so... Um, okay, I say, I mean, Paul... He's, he and goes, then I chuckle. Can you lasso that cow? He says, um, I'll try. Also, in my head, I think that he can't do it. All right, it's you, not important. You, but I think as you lower your confidence in Paul. Okay. All right, Paul whips the rope. He's, he's whipping the. He's good at doing this. He's whipping the rope. He's cracking the rope, and he's he goes just rotating his wrist. He, he goes to throw, and he misses, and he lassos Willie. <laughs> <laughs> and Willie falls to his face. Oh no! His glasses break. Oh no! <laughs> Paul stops and laughs at him. <laughs> the rest of too. the re- the rest of us stop, and we're all horrified. Willie has has a severe case of broken face itis. Oh no! And Not everything's itis. Everything is just is instead of he ha- he doesn't have angry tears. His eyes are really bleeding. Oh no! And. We stop. You, you're you forced to stop to check on Willie's elf. Okay, well, is the steamroller still coming the at steam all? Steamroller? <laughs> I forgot to mention. run over the broken steam- face, <laughs> Willie? The steamroller is going at a calm two miles per hour. Oh, then I'm not really even worried about that. But it's slowly starting. This cow doesn't somehow does not realize that there's a steamroller. It is running towards the steamroller. <laughs> Gonna hit it head on. At full speed. At full cow speed. Right. Okay, so uh, you can. What are you gonna do? Willie's on the ground. Paul's laughing. The rest of us are horrified. Um. So how much horsepower does a cow get? Probably like half. Probably, probably, get horsepower, probably, probably, it gets cow power. Probably like a like a tenth of a horsepower. Uh, this cow is a special cow. It's a twentieth of a horse. Or no, two tenths. My bad. <laughs> it's a special cow. It's a little bit slower. It's a special cow. <laughs> It's 20% horsepower. 20% of one horsepower. That's a fifth. One fifth of a horsepower. Wow. Um, and you, that was really important. Um, okay, so wait, what happened to Will again? He fell on his face. He fell on Paul his, la- oh, he's okay. still lassoed. Paul, has, okay, he's no, laughing. We stopped, right? All of us stopped. Okay, all of us stopped. Well, actually, Dustin, he, he's a little slower. He, he, he just he's, caught he's up to us. Trying to catch up. He's, he's, no, he just got, he's okay. like, what's going on? And they see, he's, he's horrified too. Um, I look at Dustin and I just say tape. <laughs> he he looks back at me and he says, Tape, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I stand there and I, I point. At, at who? At, at what? Where? At the the uh, uh the willy. The willy. The willy. <laughs> the Paul's like, willy. I walk over to Paul and I punch him in the face. Oh, okay. Because that was a Paul, mean Paul's action. Paul's got some bad stuff happening. That was a, <laughs> that was a mean action. Okay, that was He deserves mean that. Part. All right. And I say, guys, we got to get going. There is a cow that's going to get run over by that steamroller. Is it nighttime? It's dusk. dusk. It's settling to dark. Okay, all right. Um... Okay, so Dustin didn't give me the tape I wanted. He didn't have tape. Oh, he never uh, had tape. Um, um, I, uh, do you have any gauze, Nick? I I turn to you and I ask, is, is this a little bag or a big bag situation? Oh, I medic have... Nick. <laughs> Nick's gonna always be the medic for this big bag and little bag situations. Um, I, I I say this is a big bag. Situ- I tell you three. You, Dustin, and Paul to go on while I bandage up Willie and his broken face itis. Alright, so I start to run up to Cow and then I stop. I turn back dramatically. I'm like, wait, Nick, is it a big bag or a little bag situation? And I said, I already told you it's a big bag situation. And then I'm like, uh, and then I run away into the distance. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I turn around and start running towards the cow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because I ran the wrong way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you do you run past me again? Oh no, not that fast. Oh, but do you walk past me? Oh wait, never mind. You're you're with Willie. Yeah. I thought you were like we're both running. I no. Past I'm like, no, I'm still medic. Um, do you okay. run past me? Um, I run behind Paul at a steady oh. pace because he doesn't really care about the cow. He's no, jogging, he's so. just jogging. Um, and so right when his uh, his back when his foot like uh, his uh, left foot swings up. I scoop it and I hook it with my uh, with my right ankle, 
and I trip him. Oh no! Yes. Oh yes. Oh no! And then I continue to run. Paul, he he gets up. Okay. He's had enough. Okay. <laughs> I've punched him in the face. We've all made fun of him. You just tripped him. He, he landed on his broke face. Willie's face. <laughs> He's had enough. <laughs> so he turns to Dustin, gives him the double bird action. Oh no. And but the Dustin's like, no. no. And he tapes his face. He tapes. Dustin has hey. seen the tape. Hi, I asked for the tape nicely by just exclaiming the word tape at and Dustin. <laughs> Dustin tapes up the face and then but you see he's he's red. He's he red. is turning red. He is he getting is, mad. He is like Hulk red. Wings extend out of his back. Oh no. And he sprints towards this cow at the speed of wings. And the speed of wings. <laughs> that's the, uh that's 65 miles per hour. I, I want to see a movie just just like a 30 second movie about Dustin chasing the cow. <laughs> But it's like, coming this summer, at the speed of wings, <laughs> it's Dustin chasing that cow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he sprints towards the cow. All right. He, he says, I got this. I got this. And then you, you, uh, Wait, he so sprints out of the distance, so it's just you and Paul. Paul's face is taped, and you're just, you don't know what's going on. Well, I was going to be mad at Dustin and try to beat him up for not giving me the tape, but now he's red and has wings. <laughs> and he's gone. He's long gone. Um, also, he, well, I didn't think that, was the cow that far away? It was pretty far, because oh, we okay. stopped oh, to yeah. bandage Willie. And it got pretty far. The steamroller. <laughs> All right, what are you going to do to Paul? Are, um, are you just like going to talk to him, take the tape off his face? What's happening? I don't know. Well, he's had enough crap, but I really just want to laugh at him while he has tape on his face because he somehow can't manage to pull it off with his own hands. You can, you can laugh at him if you want. Um. Well, how far back are you and Willie? We, I stopped. I, I finished. We're catching up. Okay. We're running up. We're, okay. we're... Oh, wait, so is Willie okay now? Willie's fine. Oh. He's okay to finish the His trip. face is broken, and, like, and Nick's like... Big bag, and then Willie's <laughs> completely fine. It's a big bag. So okay, well, uh, if you I'm, got the big bag. You got the big bag. I'm a medic. I know what I'm doing. Big bag situation. We're running it's towards got it you. Under control. Um. Okay. Uh. All right. So. So you guys are all alright. Uh, well, I'm, I was fine. I've been fine. Um, are we in a desert or no, are we like, like in like? Imagine middle road. Alright, so so we're like that. Okay, so we're like, like on a farm. Like over the Jacobs there. farm. Okay. I'm imagining that. Alright, so oh. Okay. Well, we might have to cut this short actually. Uh, well uh, you you're about to do something to Paul and you see a steamroller fly up into oh, the no. sky. Is this the say oh, because Dustin's off. And then the it's dropped it's a ginormous explosion. Huge. Huge explosion. And then Dustin <sighs> runs back to you with the cow. Everything's okay. Is Willie, he carrying the cow? Yeah. Oh. Willie, myself, and Farmer Jeff Dunham all pull up in this convertible. And we put the cow in the trailer, and we drive back. We did it. We did it? We did it. We did it. But wait a minute. Wait just Where did a dog get the dog gun. It was Farmer Jeff's. Dunham's. Uh, when we get back, there's some sheep missing. There's some sheep missing. To be continued. To be continued. Uh, the the farm animal rescue <laughs> squad. We are the the farm animal. Hey, we're Nick, the fars. The fars. Wait. wait. Um. Uh, okay. I wanna I wanna talk to Jeff real quick. Um. Yeah. Sure. You can talk to him. Uh. All right. So so I'm gonna ask him. Hey, Jeff. Um. Why can't you keep track of any of your animals? I just started the farming business. Why did you do that? You already are pretty well off. Uh, no. I'm not. Oh, what okay. happened? I don't need the sass. Well, maybe hey, you do. Maybe I saw, you I saw you point, I saw you and your friends point and laugh at your other friend. That's yeah. not very nice. So? He, Farmer Jeff Dunham high fives, Paul. Okay, I punched both of them in the face. <laughs> Okay. High fives are not allowed on the farm. <laughs> I love that phrase. And just so you guys know, high fives aren't allowed on the farm. 
So you no, punch no, them no. both in the face. <laughs> okay. I run up, and I say, that's probably a little bag situation. So I tend to their... Because you, you forgot that you were wearing spiked knuckles. Oh, no. <laughs> you have that's in- an interesting thing to forget about. <laughs> you have indented their face. With spikes, are they bleeding? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's why well, I'm tending them. At least it's a little bag situation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think that's where we're going to cut it. Okay. Um, well, anyway, thanks for tuning in to this unfortunately short, long yeah. Eggnag episode 3, but you can yeah. maybe look forward to maybe, another maybe one. you can do one to maybe tomorrow, tomorrow or, or the next, next day. day. Um, or maybe both days. But that's and they might question. have anybody uh, maybe that was special in that past guest. story, including maybe. Jeff Dunham or the cow. Or maybe even the steamroller driver Ooh. that exploded. No, there was no drivers that rolled that steamroller. Steam okay. Maybe the steamroller that exploded. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but just so you guys know, oh. high fives are not allowed on, on the, farm. the farm. Oh, and um, uh, so... If uh, if you like this or if you don't, it doesn't matter. You just you gotta get used to it. Get used to it. Egg nag. Egg nag. Episode three out. All right. Wait, Benjamin, uh, oh, what do oh. you have to say? No, nobody cares about Benjamin. Sorry.